we need to talk about what Ron Town is doing now. We have to give a special shout out to Ron Town. Fowl's the bad guy at um, yeah, they're on the streets right Prince now. and a host of others that are doing the protest right now, the mm -hmm. NTAS protest. And I think that's amazing. I and think for those who want doing. to know, they're just walking towards 1004. Mm -hmm. In case you want to join yes. them. <laughs> yeah, as it said, yeah, you know. And you know the, no, they're live on yeah, that. I'm just trying to let them so. know that, man. There's no excuse for there's you no not excuse. to be there. So yeah. don't say, I don't know the location. Now we're telling location. you. That's yeah, the location. They start from the toll gate and they're heading towards Uzumba. So. so you know what? You can yeah. just stay somewhere around uh, in case you're coming from Lekki. Like, just, you know, stay somewhere around. They will meet you there. If you're in Kukumaiko, like, just... <laughs> <laughs> just join the just live become. video. <laughs> but a big shout out to yeah. them, though. The big shout out that they went on with this. They didn't back down. You know, there are ways that they try to silence um, the youth, mm -hmm. silence the media, silence a lot of us from doing um, what we're supposed to. Mm -hmm. But these guys are not backing down. And Even I'm glad someone like Fouls... Before they started, we could see from the live feed um, some policemen were there and um, we could to, hear Fouls' mm -hmm. voice saying, don't say mm -hmm. anything, don't engage them, let them do their own job, just mm -hmm. keep marching. So mm -hmm. um, I like how they're trying to coordinate themselves mm -hmm. and make sure their voices are heard. I want to really encourage people... If you're watching honestly speaking and you're free um and you're thinking about ways to you know join the Blend protest even if it's just getting water for people who are there and you're not you're not protesting you're on the line and you're sharing water to them or you're giving face masks to people who don't have mm -hmm. there's so many ways you can think about supporting even if it's just by standing with them cheering yeah, them on even them. if you're not marching with them there's so many ways that you can protest if you're thinking about covid there's safe ways you can socially distance yourself from the crowd but mm -hmm. still be with them let them know that guys we're with you if you stand somewhere because at the end of the day we we all have a role to play exactly. in it and it's, you don't feel um, what's it called overwhelmed that maybe you can't participate for whatever reason it is in the, in the same degree that uh, fouls them are participating but there's so many ways you can think about it think about if you have water in the house please if you have umbrellas if you have face masks mm. just get out there support just show your face and all that if you're thinking oh well, yes it's now pretty and talking about it after the show also planning on doing the same thing everybody has different reasons as to why they cannot go as far but to show moral support think about all the people that have died yeah. in the hands of SARS. Think about all the people that are still traumatized as of today, carrying heavy burdens from the experience that they've had with SARS. Think about all of the injustice that has happened and think about the future because I don't think we want to carry that type of energy into our future. So this is a very serious thing. It's not about you right now right. and tomorrow you'll be driving down or walking down innocently. Or even in a bus. In and the next you become the next victim. Yeah. So, and then the the thing is, um, I would also like to um, call out all the celebrities that are around this area. Please mm. join this match. The the more the merrier. The more lives. The more people yeah. we get, the more crowd, the more we get to be listened to. So if you're around there, don't just put your Instagram or Twitter fingers to walk. Yeah. Put your leg to walk. And we could see as a couple well. of them just commenting on the live feed and saying, yeah. "Oh, well done, yeah. Fouls. Well done, Run Town." This it's is not, not about, about well done. It's about down. and the truth is most of them stay around this well, I mean, let's, let's, so let's, let's not point to let's, let's not forget that people have work and some of these people might be texting from their offices some people might be texting from home they're about to children. there's a lot of reasons why people cannot come out that's fine you know i'm just saying that if you can excuses. encourage it's not an excuse so if uh, you cannot we're talking about we're dropping comments to say we will be there who before now we, we was trying to get yeah. more celebrities to join the right that's what he's saying not mm -hmm. just i'm talking about nine to five i'm just saying yeah. that there's people no, there's we're people talking who about can't make it celebrities now right. they're, they're colleagues in the in the industry, industry that yeah. should be there uh I'm like, like you said any woman I they, seen any the same we said immediately we're done with this show we will be there if we still find out where the ilc mm. is keeping tabs on their current location I'm keep you yeah so <laughs> we, 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 as soon as we find out where they are we will be there i'll call my sister me your location <laughs> we'll be right, right there. there. <laughs> yeah. And that's what it is. Big shout out to Round Town. And I think this is also a clarion call to um, Naira Mali. Yes, mm. you called the off yours on Tuesday. I think there's nothing wrong with joining fellow brothers that mm. have decided to proceed with it. You're not it's going course, against yeah. who called you to say put yours on hold. Now nah, you're yeah. just supporting yeah. other brothers who are going on yeah. with theirs mm. and who didn't listen. But most, most, really no most space for division importantly, right now. my mm. own um, calling out or appeal will have to go to the government right now i mean 
this is to show that we need to be heard and we need things to be done. Mm. Um, this has stayed since the weekend and it has not stopped. Mm. For you to understand that the cup is getting full mm. and I hope um, they listen and not leave Nigeria to the point where we get to that place they call the tipping point mm. and there is no way back anymore. So I think at this point, things need to be done. Um, changes need to be made. We need to begin to feel those changes and not just read them on paper, mm. you know. So I'm really appealing now to to um, the commission of police. I like, I like from the, the list that was shared out, those were the 10 things that the IGP um, put out. Yeah. I, I like that they said the commission of police and the AIGs mm. are going to also be held accountable for whatever the SAS officials mm. get to do. They'll be, they'll be liable as well. But beyond that, we also need to see these things begin to work and feel safe around people that say they are our friends. Mm. I'm also being, friend, beginning right? to love the wokeness of um, entertainers in the sense that um, there's this perception there's this narrative that once you're a musician or once you're this, you're, you're, you're prone to be violent. They see you. They want to shoot. You should act out. You should want to use your influence. But you can see these guys are being orderly. They have their face mask on, you know, maintaining social distancing to an extent, you know, and all of that. And they just kept saying, walk past them. Do not say anything. They did not encourage anybody to be rude to the police yeah. and all of that. You know, walk past them. Do not say anything. It's a peaceful protest. So I like the fact that they are putting that out there that this is peaceful we have nothing yeah. against you we just want our voices to be heard I think we're, doing, we're doing our part actually mm -hmm. we're doing yeah. our part right now and well for SARS there. to end though I wouldn't want to say we should abolish SARS completely I just want to say a reformation is what is standard Definitely. but they should be put on old I'm not saying put, put them on old for six months do a reformation for six months get the people that are the bad eggs and then replace them in another six months put them back on the road because we we need these people. The amount of armed robbers that have been caught, the amount of kidnappers, the amount of I don't think it outweighs the lives that have been lost. No, I personally on, think no, that no sent life. I don't think if yeah, it, I, don't, I, I really word. don't think it outweighs that. Personally speaking, I think it has needs to end completely, eradicated, thrown away, done. It's because like we had a police way, because we America. had a police system that's supposed to be sufficient enough for crimes. What they did was abandon them, um, and what's it called, drain them of all resources. Um, they lack training, they lack financial support, all of that stuff and then you created another one why in a country it's, it's, it's like if it was america that was trying to do all of that i would understand the logic but you cannot tell me that it's a, a, a police force that has existed for how many years and you've not been able to even get a hold of that you want to start another one and get a hold of that as well before you reform stars reform your police system let's see that function to its maximum and it hasn't worked then we're not talking about SARS. Mm. Till, till then, ban it. Right now, it's even feeling like Amotek is doing more job than <laughs> I'm telling you. But, but I, I don't know if you guys remember <laughs> Operation Sweep and how it became the Rapid Response mm. Squad and all of that. Mm -hmm. So there are different departments even in the police force, right? Mm. So I'm not saying that they should throw it out. They have a good cause. The SARS was created for a good reason. Okay, you but are saying are reform. She is saying end SARS. My mm. own is stop shooting. Don't kill us. Police brutality. Don't harass us. If yeah. you want to call yourself police, SARS... SWAT, sweeper, whatever you want to call yourself is fine, but just be civil. That's and all I'm asking. And at the end of the day, I also want to encourage the youths out there too, that in as much as we're saying NSAS, whenever you have a, a, an encounter which we don't pray for, because um, I can remember in one of my reports with um, Sam Sultan said before, we used to run for protection, now we run from protection protection i just want people to know that when you meet these people as well your countenance because there's this um defensive attitude we tend to put up whenever any law enforcement agent comes close to us because we know how they i don't are. think anybody will run from protection they stopped being protection hmm. basically okay I, I, I think I think they run from, I think from protection. Yes. The people no. who are supposed to be protecting so. is what you you want yeah. to see. That mm. um, it's not. I, I don't think I have any energy for let's reform SARS and let's let's find a way to manage. It's like telling. It's like when we have rape conversations and we bring up clothing ideas. Even me that I bring up clothing ideas. I know that I'm I'm letting the victims down by saying that because the problem isn't what they're wearing. The problem is the perpetrators. So it's the same thing here. If it, the same the same mindset when, in telling women to dress properly so that maybe that could help you or save you. It's the same way telling people, and uh, don't vex for them because, you know, even if you vex for them, it should not cost you your life. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 vexing for them is the least of the problem. Go on Twitter. 
go on Twitter, just on Twitter alone, I'm talking about um, word of mouth or even my personal experience, and calculate the, the statistics of people mm. who have died by straight bullets, who have died because you could see just share, share power drunk people um, mm. um, um, interacting with them. It has nothing to do with um, begging and pleading. Even when the person no, is no wrong, no even if the person is wrong, even if you wanted to find, even if you caught a Yahoo boy, it shouldn't cost him his life either. You, there should be a way that you can peacefully engage with the person and give, give them to the people who are supposed to enforce the law without any Everybody's lives being lost. So yeah. what you've done is put people who are not trained. And if you're going to start training SARS, what happened to the police? Again, end it. End SARS. All right. And on that note, we will say end SARS and solidarity forever on this table. So we will be putting one hand together and saying end SARS, right? And yours is do not shoot. Um, don't kill me. Just don't kill. <laughs> don't kill. <laughs> and mine is let's reform SARS. But in one voice, all we're saying is that we need you to do better.